Hey guys, I wanted to get a little bit more information about the Cisco Building Mediator. At its heart, it's very easy to understand. You take individual devices that have historically have a lot of intelligence, but they're located in different places, and now we've got the ability to allow them to communicate and do very innovative things with that, that drop savings right to the bottom line. I'm here with Terry Burdett, and Terry, uh, you've got an amazing setup here that looks like it, it brings together all the elements that we talk about at a high level. Make it real for me, man. Can you, can you walk us through what you've got here? You bet, Rob. The Mediator actually builds upon the Cisco network platform. It allows us to extend where IP hasn't been before within protocols, HVA systems, and things like that. Okay. So for example, you know, normally you'd walk into your office and you want the heat to come up. You'd walk over to your thermostat, and we have a thermostat right here, and I'm going to actually bring the heat up on this system right here. And uh, as this heat comes up on the system, Normally what would happen is you would just set the thermostat, you know, wherever you want it to go, that well, type of thing. you'd get hotter is what would happen, you'd right? You'd get hotter, right? You don't have to take much of it, right. right? But what the mediator allows us to do is extend this into the IP network. So now, as you see the heating control in that, you notice the heat comes on, right. but on the IP side, now we have a computer sitting here that's actually giving you an indication okay. of that heat with the red coil, shows you your room temperature, your stats, even showing your, your, your voltage, the energy you're using within the system itself. So this is information that was some self-contained and not necessarily available, but now we can do something different with this information now that we've brought it out of its uh, cocoon, so to speak? Absolutely, Rob. Okay. So now we have information, we can make the decisions, we see what's going on, more intelligent decisions. But not only that, but it changes the experience for the user itself, the user interface. For example, you use the thermostat as a traditional way. Right. How about changing it from the computer itself, being able to go and change that setting? Oh, I can see it, why not interact with it? Yeah, or even walk over to your phone, for example. As you notice on this phone over here, okay. I actually have a controls where I can control my lighting system, right. but also my HAV system. So if I go down to my cooling set point, select that, and put a new setting in here itself, and submit that, Now see, I like that a lot because now we've got the ability, once you put it on IP, almost the, the, the world is your oyster, right? Changes the whole user interface okay. and experience. Now if you notice on the screen, it changed over to cooling. Oh wow. Not only it changed over to cooling. And I can see this thing's kicked on. And I you feel notice, like... AC's cocked on it, you can feel the fan, the yeah. dampers, actually gives you true damper positions in your system, so you know what's going on in your HVA system. Okay, so I can control my air conditioning and my heating via my phone. Cool, <laughs> no pun intended, but how do you, it's obviously, interacting with other systems. So are you going to take us a little bit further now? So let's leverage the platform. Okay. Let's expand that. So let's say we have this, we're using energy right now. It's 110 degrees outside, and the, and the grid itself is, is, is using a lot of power. And a utility company signals us if we cut back on our power demand, that they'll give us a discount or something. We there have something go. set up with them. Right. So let's we're paying more during peak periods. Absolutely. We need everything on, and how do we even know what it's on? So let's Run around, turn that. off lights. Let's leverage that through the right. IP as a network, as a platform. Let's actually simulate an energy demand here. Okay. So I'm going to simulate an energy demand within the system itself. Okay. Attention, attention. Energy demand prices have increased. So, Light levels have been lowered. Thermostats have been adjusted to energy demand response. So what's happening here, obviously, is there's an automated message that's going out and saying, Hey, we've got to we've got to not only make adjustments in the system, but it's telling us to make the adjustments, or is it making the adjustments? It's making for us? The adjustments for us and telling us and telling you what's Ooh, going on. Like it changed okay. the light levels. It changed the energy settings. So, oh, so we went to half level, lighting here as went well. Went to half lighting. Okay. Our energy cooling set points changed. Even though I had it set down to 65 degrees. Right. Corporate policy says it can't go below 70 if it's 110. We've cut down non-essential systems. Our data center. We shut down non-essential systems throughout all our facilities, not wow. just one. Wow, okay, now I see. Okay, so now we're responding, we're paying less money, because it makes sense at that point in time to be able to do so, and we've set our, a combination of a policy that says, I can't cut certain systems down, so we need the intelligence in the system to be able to do those things, not just simply cut it all off, and you know the big major brownout per se. Absolutely. Does this Absolutely. stuff work with other systems as well? Because it looks like you've got a couple other bells and whistles here. So look at it this way. So we just talked about energy demand. How about operation, right? How about it? Let's say we have a fault within our system itself. Something goes on within the mechanical system. The mediator is monitoring everything. It has logic built in. It can do loop logic, PID logic. So it can okay. actually go out there, analyze things, and if certain thresholds are ex exceeded, it can cause things to happen. It can page you, call you on your pager, wow. send up digital signage itself. 
for example, let's simulate an airflow sensor in one of our HVA systems out here. Now, what would an airflow sensor be indicating? Warning, warning. A restriction, a bad restriction filter. Has been detected in the lobby ventilation okay, so a maintenance system. issue that needs to be taken care of on an emergency issue. basis. So you notice, not only did we get a, a visual indication setting off some kind of light or something, but the maintenance person got a broadcast on the radio telling the location, the actual problem itself. We actually lever third party products like Ad Hoc that send a message to the maintenance personnel, to their pager, not only did it tell them about it, but it re recorded their response so they know if they're responding or not. Well, I think the key message here, because we got a couple of other things, I know you tie into fire systems and things of this nature, but it's that we can get on top of problems earlier, we can be more proactive, and the systems are now integrated to be able to make more intelligent decisions based on the rules and the logic of the business uh, on your behalf. And you're saying this stuff actually drops the bottom line savings to where this system starts paying for itself relatively quickly? From an operation, from an energy perspective, and from a personal experience. Everybody can have a personal experience out of this, from the common day worker, from your facility manager, even to your energy managers and the CEO. For example, we can have energy dashboards leveraging digital signage itself within buildings, yeah. displaying the inner usage per building, and having folks in different facilities having competitions against themselves to save more oh. energy within a building itself. Competition always drives good stuff. And, and obviously this is something that works within existing facilities. We don't have to build something new to leverage the benefits from an energy perspective. This is perspective not about here, right? replacement. This is about leveraging your assets today, adding enhancements on it itself, giving you real savings, giving you baseline, providing you information that helps you make wise decisions. Man, that is stuff you can bank on. I want this for my kids' room. That's my only other request. If we could work this into the home market, my kids don't turn off their lights. They think it needs to be a lot cooler. They don't close doors behind them, and I think we may have something here that be could help us out. Be careful what you ask for, Rob. <laughs> Absolutely. Terry, thank you so much. Thank that was you. awesome information. Okay. Thank you.